Have you been charged with insurance fraud or are under investigation for insurance fraud? If you or a loved one are currently being investigated or have recently been arrested or you've received a letter from the DA's office regarding insurance fraud, stick around. I think you're gonna like this video. My name is Dodd. I've been a criminal defense attorney here in San Diego County since 2004. My firm is Dodd Law. We are located here in downtown San Diego. We also have a virtual office in Vista, up north, right across from the Vista Courthouse. Now today what we're going to talk about is insurance fraud. Now look, we're in San Diego. We're right on the border of Mexico, we get tons of insurance fraud cases. Now, what is the common example? Probably about 90% of the insurance fraud cases we get, what happens? Somebody goes to Mexico, the car goes mysteriously missing, disappears. They come back to the United States and they make a claim that their car is stolen and they have to give a sworn statement, an adjuster calls them, they give a sworn statement, and now they're really under oath telling an adjuster, telling the insurance company that their car was stolen, even though they took it to Mexico, they dumped it in Mexico, they gave it to somebody in Mexico, they took it to a chop shop in Mexico and they brought all the parts back. But now what happens is they have told their insurance company that the car is stolen and they give the sworn statement and they get insurance money. And a lot of times you're gonna get 10, 15, 20, 25, 30,000, depending on what the amount of the car was. Now, what happens? So what prompts you to watch this video or to reach out to attorneys? Because you might have got a call from a detective on the insurance fraud unit you might have just got a call from an investigator with the DA's office and they want to investigate insurance fraud. Or you might have just got a letter. You know, you go to your mailbox, you open the letter and there's a nasty letter from the DA's office and it says, you've been charged with insurance fraud. You have an arraignment date coming up you must appear at your arraignment date and now you're freaking out and you're doing your research and you're watching these videos. Don't freak out. Don't stress out. You know, my firm has been doing these cases for a very long time. I've been doing this for almost 20 years. I've handled hundreds of insurance fraud cases. Now, it's a very scary process because what we're going to have to do is we're gonna to have to go to court, we're gonna to have to do the arraignment. Now, the arraignment is just the first step in the process where we're gonna plead not guilty and the case is going to begin on that day, okay? What you're also gonna most likely have to do is called a book and release, okay? If you're a female, you're gonna to have to go down to Las Colinas, take some fingerprints and a mugshot. If you're male, you're gonna to have to be at the downtown courthouse or the downtown jail, fingerprints and a mugshot or in Vista, you're gonna to go to the Vista courthouse. There's a jail right next to it. You're gonna to have to do fingerprints and your mugshot photo shot right there. So you're also gonna to have to do a book and release. Now everyone gets scared, well, what is the book and release? You just go to the jail, you give your thumbprints and a photo and you leave. The whole process takes less than two hours. Now, Dodd, are they gonna keep me in jail? No, you're not gonna to go to jail. You're not gonna stay in jail. They're just gonna do your book and release. Now, but what's gonna happen with your case? Now look, the most important part of any criminal case, insurance fraud case, is don't panic, right? Because chances are you have been compensated already for your false reporting of a vehicle being stolen, okay? And chances are you got a big settlement from an insurance company. So let's just say you got $20,000 from the insurance company. Really all the DA's office cares about 
and all the insurance company cares about is they want their money back, right? Because you've been accused of taking $20,000 from an insurance company. The insurance company, the DA says, listen, just give us the money back, okay? So what I like to do, and this is obviously if my client has done it and the DA can prove that my client is guilty and there's overwhelming evidence against my client and my client says, listen, Dot, I did this. I'm willing to pay back the restitution. So what we can do is we can work out a deal where we pay back the restitution, right? We can plead to a charge. We can put off sentencing for a while. We can pay off the restitution and there will be no jail time. We can pay off the restitution. If it's a pretty low amount, then there's also the possibility that at some point we can get this case reduced down to a misdemeanor. Now, let's be clear. If you have no criminal record, and this is a first time offense insurance fraud, and you just had a lapse in judgment, I'm sorry, you know, it happens to the best of us. A lot of people get accused of a crime. You're still a good person. Don't look down on yourself. There is still hope. You can go ahead and give us a call because what we're going to do is we're going to contact the DA's office insurance fraud unit. We know all the DA's and the investigators that are on the insurance fraud unit. And we're going to try to work out a resolution where we can set you up on a payment plan. And let's say, you know, a thousand dollars a month that we come back in a year, a year and a half, and then we can get the case reduced down to a misdemeanor. Um, if it's a crazy amount, let's say they have you on multiple, multiple incidents, you know, a couple hundred, 200, 300,000, then listen, there's a possibility that you're facing jail time unless we can work out a resolution where you're going to be able to pay back the entire amount. Now, what if you're charged with, with insurance fraud, but you didn't do this? What are the defenses to insurance fraud? Well, really the you know, defense to insurance fraud is you thought your car was stolen, that you weren't the one that actually went down and you know, dropped the car off in Mexico, took it to a chop shop, and then fraudulently told the insurance company that the vehicle was stolen. You didn't know. You thought the car was stolen because you have to have that intent, that criminal intent in order for them to find you guilty. Now look, for the prosecutor to file charges against you, they have to be convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that you committed this crime. That's just to file charges. In order for a jury to find you guilty, a jury must find you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, what's some evidence that hurts our clients in these insurance fraud cases? Well, what most people don't know is that when you drive across the border, there is a camera taking a picture of your license plate. And a lot of times that camera is what buries your case because it has your license plate and it has you in the car driving across the border. And it never has that car returning. Now, your car could have got stolen. Somebody could have coerced you. You might have a possible defense to your insurance fraud case. But if the DA has overwhelming evidence that you have committed this crime, we can work out a payment plan. We can avoid jail time. We can try to get this case reduced down to a misdemeanor and eventually get this case completely wiped off of your record as if it never existed. So the moral of the story is this, if you got the letter from the DA's office, you're freaking out, a detective has called you, a DA investigator has called you, don't panic. Watch this video in its entirety. I hope that you're not going through a lot of stress right now. You can give us a call, 619-814-5110. My firm is Dodd Law. You can go to www.doddlaw.com. You can come to our downtown office. We can give you a free consultation. We can discuss your case. We can go over all the facts of your case. 
we can get your side of the story, and we can just give you our honest assessment of the case. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, also hit that notification bell. All we're doing is we're trying to educate the public and help people like you who are in a vulnerable position, who are scared, who are stressed out, who have been charged, or who just got a letter from the DA's office. We're trying to give you a little bit more information just so you're not so stressed out. Have a great day.